This is the Lone Ranger and Tonto from the very popular television show in the 50s. This was a premium that was offered by the General Mills Corporation. I don't know much about how kids came in possession of these, but my guess is they mailed a box top and maybe 50 cents to General Mills and received two life-size posters of their favorite Western stars. Jay Silverheels and Clayton Moore were the actors. And how did you come by them? I used to be a relatively large collector of memorabilia from my youth and from other youths and I bought these on an online auction. What I liked about them was they came in the original mailing envelope so it had some interesting provenance to it that at least I could see where it came from and who it was mailed to and all of that and I thought it was very unique and I think they got to be a little bit rare because paper items and kids stuff never seemed to last very long. You're absolutely right. These were things that children ordered using box tops from cereal. Okay. They couldn't have been happier. For, for us, these are life-size images. For children, they're larger than life. Right. And when your heroes, the Lone Ranger and Tonto, who've been on your TV, to have them in your room would have been such, such a thrill. I think it's also safe to say that most kids who had them tacked them up to the walls, kept them there, and when they grew up, they took them down and threw them out. We can see here that there are traces of tack holes in each of the corners, and that speaks to a poster that was actually put up at mm -hmm. one point or yes. another. They're both folded, and as you said, they're folded as issued, because they were meant to be mailed to people, so in order to fit into the envelope, they had to be folded. We can also see that in certain areas, they've begun to tear along the folds, yes. and this happens. Now, the TV series ran from 1949 to 1957, and to the best of my knowledge, these came towards the end of the serial, sort of in the 1957 itself. Okay. They are indeed rare. I have found a few copies of these up for auction in the last couple of years. And I think currently, as a pair, an auction estimate would be between $1,200 and $1,800. Wow. Even with the slight tears? Even with the slight tears. An estimate of $1,200 to $1,800. You could pay to have these restored. That would probably cost you $150 a piece. Okay. And it might sell for more afterwards. But by and large, when I look at these, these are pretty darn good condition. I'm very pleased to be the owner of them.